Hi everyone, welcome to our Facebook Thursday for Touch Base Thursday on October 12th. I'm uh, gonna give this just a minute here and for all of you to find me live and then we will go ahead and get started here. Just a couple of minutes. So hello to everyone. Uh, make sure I'm muted here. Uh, so again, as you're coming in, please comment and tell me hello and then I will um, get started once I um, see some of you um, live here with me. So there we go. Hello to Kay and Carol and Courtney. Hello everyone. So it has been a whirlwind of a day today, um, but I'm here and I'm live with you all at 7.03 and it's not too, too late. Um, so anyway, welcome as you're coming in. Hello to Luann as well. Um, Kay's already sharing. I love it. So anyway, um, Today was crazy busy, so we spent the day getting ready and packed for my event that I have this weekend. So this weekend, um, I have a retreat. Oh, hi, Lori. I have a retreat that I'm doing. It's called my Be Grateful Retreat, just a fall-themed um, retreat that I'm doing uh, tomorrow and Saturday. So it was uh, rush around to get groceries, um, come home, and because um, we cook there, my husband does and I, and, and Kay helps a lot. We do the cooking and stuff. I rush around, get groceries, come home, make dinner, eat, and then get ready for my live. So it has been a, a crazy uh, day today. Plus, I worked until 2 o'clock, but um, it went very well. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you on here. And Carol, hello. Um, so anyway, speaking of my retreat, I do have two openings left. If you're local to the Mount Pleasant area or within a, a, a drive away from it and you're interested in coming, uh, I, I prepared enough stuff for a certain number of people and I have two spots left if you want to attend in person. If not that retreat, you can also purchase as like what we call our kit in the kit in the mail or a retreat in the box. Um, you get your make and takes and all of the make and takes are using the um, pumpkin patch or the pick of the patch, I think it's called the Halloween, um, Halloween pumpkin um, stamp set and punch. And then um, we've got little gifts that you get with that and all kinds of fun stuff, a little goodie bag of product. Um, so anyway, I do have, um, like I said, two spots left for anybody if they're interested in coming in person. Um, in person, the cost is um, $55 and it includes Friday night from four until 10 if people wanna stay that late. I do not provide dinner though Friday night. I cut that out on this one to save me a little bit of, um, of money and resources. Oh May, yay, that link work that I sent you. Um, but on, uh, then on Saturday, I provide brunch, and I've got a full menu brunch for you all. I can't wait for you to see that. And then dinner is um, on that evening. So the cost is $55 for both Friday and Saturday, just $50 if you want to come just for Saturday. So anyway, if anyone's interested in that, let me know. Like I said, I do have um, two spots um, left for that event or two kits in a boxes. I think the kit in the box cost I think it's maybe like 35 or 40 and that includes the shipping so anyway let me know if anyone's interested in that um, so Claire just finished up her cello lesson so you, no cello playing tonight but I got to tell you that girl she tries out in a week for her um, all state um, high school orchestra um, uh, participation so how that works is you're nominated um, to be able to participate and try out it's called the all state which is kind of like the best of the best and they try out to be on the um, and it's a resume builder for college and stuff but it's the all state um, uh, orchestra for high school students and so she has a tryout um, in a week I think it's the 21st so not this weekend but the next weekend and so she has been practicing religiously at least an hour every single night so even like I think it was last night maybe it was an night before she didn't even sit down to practice until 10 30 at night and she practiced until 11 30 for one hour and I told her honey you gotta stop and go to bed or you're gonna put me to sleep I was down here working and it just was so relaxing I could get used to her doing that but anyway um so she's been working hard at that and um, Natalie's ha almost halfway through her, sem her semester here her second year at school at CMU so she's been busy with that um, and I may have a, a big announcement for Natalie and some things that she's going to be working on um, in the next little bit, but I'm going to wait until she solidifies her plans before I tell you guys, but um, she has an amazing opportunity um, with stuff as well. Um, so anyway, uh, that will be kind of cool. 
I know you do, Lori. I wish you could attend in person as well. Um, and hello to Luann. Welcome, Terry. Um, so yes, nice to have so many of you here with me live tonight. Uh, so uh, most of you know that if you um, share, you get into the drawing, as Kay's um, comment there alluded, share away so you have a chance to win prizes. Uh, last week, I um, showed that we were going to be giving away this week the flat adhesive backed pearls and the pastel adhesive backed sequins. And we have two winners, so the drum roll. The winner of the pastel adhesive backed sequins is Denise Moulter. So congratulations to Denise and then the winner of the, oh, and she's watching. I just mentioned her name not too long ago. The flat adhesive backed pearls is Lori with her new name of Delaney. So Lori Delaney, congratulations. Um, I'm going to still call you Lori Ringle. I just know I am. But anyway, um, congratulations to our two winners for those. And then up for grabs this week, I pulled some ribbon this time. So the ribbon I pulled is the Starry Sky ribbon, which is beautiful ribbon. And then this is the duo pack of ribbon that came with the zoo, um, the zany zoo bundle. But you get um, two, you, it's a dual pack, um, and it's um, the petal pink, and then it is the, um, I'm not sure if it's lemon lime twist or if it's, I'm um, trying to look, either lemon lime twist or it's um, parakeet party. I think it's lemon lime twist. So anyway, um, those are what we have. Um, yep, lemon lime twist up for grabs this week. All right, so anyway, um, that's what we have. Uh, other announcements that I have. So if you have not, um, Courtney's already got her vote in for the Starry Sky Ribbon. I love it. Uh, if you have not uh, heard about the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit promotion going on right now through the end of October, it is a good one. And when I, I hate even calling it the Starter Kit promotion because I look at it as just a great opportunity to get a lot of Stampin' Up! product at an amazing cost with no kind of a commitment after that. Um, so I'll be reaching out to some of you who are my regular customers and talking to you about this because it is an amazing opportunity. You get, um, uh, they're offering it as a, what they're calling a 35th anniversary um, promotion. So you either get 35 additional, 35% 35 additional in product or you pay 35% less for the kit. So you can get $125 for $68 in some sense. Or you can get, maybe it's $63, I have to look at that again. Or you can get um, $168 a product for the 99 So it's kind of like almost double, double, or one and a half times the amount of product. And it's free shipping on that. And you, I mean, it's just a great deal. So um, if there are things that you wanted from our annual catalog, holiday catalog, uh, it's a great opportunity, and I have a, a pretty hefty goal to get a few more people to join my team. Um, even if it's just, the neat thing is, is you'd be active for seven months. And if you never even did anything else after that, you would just drop after seven months. The deal is still a great deal, and I'd be more than happy to help you do that. It's an online process. Uh, I could send you the link, or I'd be able to help you with it. But it is a pretty amazing thing, so I'm hoping some of you will consider it and help me with my goal. All right. Uh, October classes. Some of you have been reaching out to me and asking me, you guys, I am so sorry. I have been behind the eight ball getting my October classes out there and marketed. One of them that you're going to be seeing tonight is a class that I'm offering in October. So tonight I'm going to be sharing the fruitful, fruitful blessings with you. I have my collages. So let me tell you the process of getting a class out there because I don't think it, some people I think think it's so, it's easier said than done because I have to obviously design it. I'm always designing well in advance. So my classes are designed. I already only have one left to design for November. So that isn't an issue for me. But then I have to take pictures of them. And I have a, a professional light box that I'm looking at off to my left um, that does natural lighting. And I have to put them in there just right and get really good pictures so they're good quality for all of you to see. And then I have to upload them into my graphic design program to be able to make the collages. So when you guys see them, you see all of my cards and then a little blurb in the middle of it. So I have to do that. And then I have to go into my um, email marketing system or my, I call it my CRM, my customer relationship management program. And I have to create an event for all of those, which takes a little bit of time. And creating that event is where you guys are then able to click the link and pay by PayPal or pay by check. And so anyway, it's a little bit of a process. Um, and I am behind on doing that. My collages are made, uh, but that process to open up all three of my classes usually takes me about an hour and a half to two hours. And so I've been having a lot of different back-to-back -back events. So I had my, my September event, and then I have this event. Two weeks is my team event. And so um, anyway, just know that it will it'll get there. Oh, thank you, Philomena. 
it will get there. I They are going to be opening up, and I'm going to leave them open about a week longer this time, so you'll have more time to be able to register for those and be able to pick from the three that I'm going to be having. Um, so the tonight's class, the Fruit Field Blessings, is one of them. And then I have um, Cheer of the, Cheers to the Season, I think it's called. And that is one I actually posted the stamp set as a little sneak peek. Uh, it's where it's got the leaf and it's got like the um, the champagne glass and then a Christmas um, ornament type um, image. And so that is an option. And then I also have a Christmas class using um, Sending Cheer, which is the beautiful, cute little um, gingerbread and or on presents and things like that. So I do have three different classes that will be opening up. And my goal is to get them out by no later than this weekend. Um, at my event, I'll be sitting working on my computer. That is the one thing I want to get done is to get those things out there. Um, I also want to thank those of you that um, purchased. Oh, thank you, Mary. This is my I only wear it in the fall. My only my sweater that I only wear in the fall. Um, it's actually a sweater, and then I just have a shirt on underneath. But thank you. Um, and then I want to thank those of you that took advantage of the free shipping um, promotion. I had a good handful of you take advantage of that um, during the last three days. And I want to just say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, all of you that did order from me will receive an embellishment, probably not until next week, in the mail sent to you with a pretty little thank you card. Um, I can guarantee you that won't happen until Wednesday. Wednesday's mail day. So most of your happy mail comes probably to your door um, anywhere between Friday and Mondays because we, we prep it all on Wednesdays and then it goes to the post office um, third and it goes out Thursday mornings so um, anyway that is uh, again I want to thank you all um, and then I also have my online fun party bingo event kits went out today because we prepped them last night so if you signed up for that look for your bingo kit to be coming in the mail um, if you are wanting in on that, I think I've got two spots left that I could get kits out, but they would need to go out like tonight or tomorrow. So if you want in on that, you're going to have to let me know ASAP to make sure you have your bingo cards um, in time. Um, and what else do I have? Um, let me think here. Um, we talked about the join promotion. So yeah, a few of you I'm going to reach out to just giving you a heads up because it is a great deal and I have to at least talk to you about it because it is um, awesome and kind of cool. Um, and then, uh, let's see here. There was something else I just had on the tip of my tongue that I was going to talk to you about before I transition my camera down. And I don't remember what it is. Oh, I know I do. I have two other special themed classes. Um, one of them is already open for registration. But if you are looking for Christmas cards, quick, simple, easy to do. My festive Christmas class is open for registration. And that includes um, the festive Christmas tags kit. And I converted them all into cards. So um, it's a great way for you to, and there's no stamping in this kit. So if you're looking for a way to just sit and craft and not have to really gather all of your supplies the sentiments are all little stickers but they look like they're actually embossed on like a black piece of cardstock because they're all like black with white writing um, but it's a really fun class and then that one I have ready to, to ship out and can get out right away and then I'm also going to be opening up our ornament class I know that you guys seen me post an ornament class and a lot of you have been asking me about it and yes I it's the ornament that I did on my Facebook live last week and so I actually am going to be running that as a class where you will make six ornaments um, there's three different designs you'll make two of each one I'll be offering that both here in my basement as a class and as a class by mail and for that I would do another um, I would do another video tutorial for you for putting that together um, because that way you can kind of see how I did it it's really easy it's not too hard um, and then the other thing, oh, I know what I need to do. Jen, would you show me that get that framed art for me real quick? I'm also going to be opening up registration for a framed art 8x8 eight eight class. I have not done an armed framed art class in a while. And this is what I've designed for my 8x8 um, eight eight framed art class. So hopefully it's not, you guys can see it and it's not a, a bad glare. I know you're going to get my computer background um, in there. I'll also show it when I transition my camera down to my stamp area. But I'll be doing a class with this where I'm going to be including some of the paper, some of the awesome um, stars, because yes, I do have some stars. Uh, but that will be a, a nice little, each one is going to make, uh, the class I'm going to offer will make two of these. Um, the frames might be kind of hard to, to ship, but I did um, buy my frames at Michael's so I could provide that link. Um, Michael's is where I get my 8x8 shadow box frames. Uh, but yeah, so this will also be a class that I'll be offering. Um, and I know that this is going to be one of my mom's Christmas gifts, so hopefully she's not catching me live tonight. 
because she's going to love that. So I do have some uh, what I call my gift giving classes coming up. Uh, so be on the lookout for those registration links to open up. Like I said, I got everything um, made and um, pictures taken. I just needed to have the time to sit down and do the actual cre creation of the events and getting links ready for you guys to register. Okay. So with that, I think we are ready to transition my camera down to my stamp area. Tonight I'm going to be featuring some cards for you. Again, this is a class that I am offering right now. So uh, it will be one that will be opening up here in the next day or two. My, um, my in-person class date for these classes are is um, I moved it up a week. I know it's going to be short notice for some of you, but it's October 16th because October 23rd we have our small animal auction um, uh, event um, banquet for Claire to go to. She was involved with the fair and small animals with her chickens this year. And it's a mandatory thing that they go to and thank their buyer and all that kind of stuff. So um, I will be having my in-person classes on the 16th. Uh, and so, um, so yeah, we'll uh, hopefully have a good handful of you will be able to come. If not, you can buy the class to go. All right, so with that, I'm going to transition my camera down to my stamp area, show you these beautiful cards that I created for you, and how I improvised with some embellishments that are on back order and other embellishments that you can use in place of it. There's always alternatives that you can do. And um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so just going to transition my camera down. Hello, Beth. Welcome, welcome. These are some of the projects that I have for you tonight. So let me get them all out of the way because I don't want you guys seeing all of them just yet. Um, I will leave this one because that's probably the one that we will start with. Let me make sure I get my camera nice and straight. I don't like it crooked. And I need to turn my iPad around so that I can see your guys' comments coming in. Okay. Woo! I think, I think I'm ready. I think I think. Okay. What do you guys think? Is it looking all right? Nice and straight, other than my card being crooked. All right, so what I am going to be showcasing for you all tonight is the Fruitful Blessings. And again, I did uh, a true, what I call Kim Classic, is that I used mixed matched pieces and parts to make cards, okay? So what I did is I used the Fruitful Blessings. Thank you, Philomena, I appreciate it. Let me swipe my comments, there we go. So I used the Fruitful Blessings um, uh, bundle and I coordinated it with some of the fall themed paper. Now I know this paper was not available and then it was and then it wasn't and then it was and I know that they're bringing it back. It shows a date of next week, I think it is. So if you, here's what I'm going to tell you though. If you were not, have not been successful in securing any of this paper, um, the tart is it called the tartan foil paper would be a good alternative to this as well because this is the fall paper the all about autumn paper but i use the opposite side of all of it and so it's the color that has the foil look to it so every single one of my um cards i've used this okay so the neat thing with this is you could easily substitute out that um the colors a little bit and use that other foil paper um, but the dies that coordinate with this, and this is kind of a neat, so the dies, they have the dies that coordinate to cut out all of the different elements here on the Fruitful Blessings um, stamp set. And then they also have in here um, the corn. And yes, I made, a, I made a card with the corn. And none of you have seen these cards yet because I haven't posted this as an open class yet. This will be opening up um, no later than this weekend because I need to get it out there. Um, but anyway, uh, like I said, my collages are made. Everything is done. I just need to get in there and create the event for you guys to register. But I love this little corn. So you have this solid and then the one that you can put on top. And then the little topper here as well. So you can make like a corn um, uh, corn card. You can have the little acorns that cut out, the little leaves that cut out. So lots of different things. And I, again, paired this, um, this with the Love of Autumn paper but using the opposite side of it. So all of them, I used the, um, the copper side of the paper. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is my first card that I created. And so this one um, I used, and I don't even have any of this paper here to show you um, because um, my cutter who cuts, Jen, um, is got all of this paper at her house because she's finishing cutting and prepping for this class as we speak, okay? Now, I do know that this ribbon is um, not available, but it's close to being available. 
And so um, the only the awesome thing is if you purchase this class online, you will get enough of the ribbon bits and pieces and parts that you need to be able to put your projects together. Um, and then I also, instead of using the speckled dots that are part of the fall um, product suite, I used the, um, the Naturals Adhesive Back Sequins. And I'm here to tell you that a bunch of demonstrators must have been thinking alike because... <laughs> Um, these are now on back order as well, but I'm still going to use them because they're a great one. There's so many out there. You can just substitute these with uh, your embellishments with all kinds of different things if you really wanted to. Okay. When I did my club um, cards for this month, um, I, this ribbon wasn't available and I substituted it with the um, pecan pie ribbon from the annual catalog and the cards were just as gorgeous. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this card. So this one I used, um, the beautiful paper here is the Moody Mauve. So I used my Moody Mauve for my card base on our first card for tonight. And then I also used the embossing folder, the one that comes with the fall um, product suite. And so for this one, I have a layer of the pecan pie that is five and a quarter by four followed by a layer of the five by three and three fourths very vanilla, okay? So these are just gonna get adhered together. And again, it's the, I think it's called the Tressor Fold or the, I forget what that embossing folder is called. But one of the things that I wanted to mention, because I had a couple of my customers who purchased this and asked, you can see here that the embossing folder has some areas that are left where it didn't emboss the greatest. That is built into the embossing folder. It is meant to do that. So no, you do not have a faulty embossing folder. That is the look of the folder itself. Um, so I just wanted to, uh, to mention that. Now, the other thing that's neat with this paper, so again, you can see the backside had all the beautiful scenes on it, but I went with the little gold look. Uh, the copper look. And here you can see the paper is a little bit of a different pattern. This one has more of the, I call it jigsaw puzzle. And this one's more of like the, the oval look. Um, but you can mix and match these. So that's the other cool thing. If you purchase the class, I can guarantee you that your paper will be mixed and matched. It's all going to be the same color for the card, but you will, you might get a different pattern because again, we maximized to this paper because it was on, um, low inventory than not available and I was I was luckily one of the lucky ones um, that got a couple packs for my customers um, that needed it I had about four or five people that this paper was on their on their list actually Peggy I think you're one of them and I was able to secure it and get it ordered in the five or six hours that it was available so anyway I'm proud to say I was able to do that for my customers and they all got their got their paper coming um, and I felt bad though because when it came back in stock for that first time it went fast. It was like, and I was stalking that paper like all day long to see if it came in. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, it, it's a hot item. I think part of why it's so popular is that it's the only really fall paper that we have this year, except for the Halloween. And the Halloween, I mean, it's beautiful Halloween paper, but the Halloween paper is just that. It's really geared towards Halloween and not fall. But that tartan foil that came out, it's on a limited time supply. Um, it's also a good one. So please check that out if you're looking for something to do yet for fall or Thanksgiving um, and you're not able to get um, this paper, uh, check that one out because it is just as gorgeous. And that's the paper that I actually, I think, used on my Cheers to the Season uh, cards, um, which... Uh, you'll see here in a little while because I'll be showcasing those here too. Um, but those cards, um, that paper, like I said, is a good alternative and I really think you're going to like it. All right, from here, I stamped the flower, um, the flowers right here that are in the Fruit Fill Blessings stamp set. And then I just colored them. So we're going to do a little bit of coloring. I may not color it all with you tonight, but we're going to do a little bit of coloring. And then my sentiment that I put on here is wishing you many blessings. Now I did stamp these with our Memento Black ink uh, so that I could color them in with our stamping blends. And so this is just gonna get put on here with some dimensionals. So let me grab my dimensionals. I'm just gonna put a couple dimensionals. I also used Very Vanilla to make these cards a little bit more rich looking versus the um, using the, um, the basic white. And then this I'm going to color before I put it on my card. So for this, I used um, Moody Mauve. I used the um, uh, Mossy Meadow. Uh, oh, I don't have an orange one here, but I used the Pumpkin Pie. 
And then I also used pecan pie. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys another little trick of the trade to be able to, if you don't have all of the colors. So right now, my um, dark pecan pie, I didn't have in the basement, it's upstairs being used for another project. So I pulled the retired color down, I pulled down the dark um, soft suede, okay? So I want you guys to just think of the, that through a little bit. Like, don't feel like you have to have all of the Stampin' Up! colors, especially when it comes to these markers. If you have one, call it close enough, because no one's gonna look at that card and say, oh, she didn't use the dark pecan pie. They're not gonna know, okay? So you can always kind of improvise a little bit in that space. Um, so what I do on my coloring is I start with my light one. And again, most of you know how I do this, but I start with my light one. And this is the light um, moody mauve. And I'm just gonna color in this flower. And then I'm gonna go back in and highlight it a little bit. And again, I'm not gonna color all of it on camera because you guys would be here watching me forever. But I do wanna show you how I go back in and highlight it a little bit after I have it colored here. So I'm just gonna color in all these petals. I'm just kind of going around the outside first and then I can easily just go around here and then I can just color. So that's kind of how I do it. Makes it a lot faster. Okay. And then what I did is I used the dark pecan pie, but we're going to substitute with the dark, um, the dark uh, soft suede. And then I used the dark because I wanted the yellow to be nice and vivid. So for that, I used the dark. And I'm just going to color the center of that. So that way you kind of see that flower. Okay, so what I did is I then took my dark pecan or dark, I'm sorry, dark uh, moody moth. And I kind of came back through here and just highlighted some of the, I'm using the little part, and highlighted some of these lines in here. So I'm just going to kind of go on top of some of these lines. And it's just going to give it a little bit of variated look without me doing anything too, too fancy with it. Can you see how that just kind of made it look a little bit more like it's got some dark colors and some light colors in it? So really quick and simple and easy. And then I did the same thing. I'm going to bring my card in here so you guys can see my card a little bit. Thank you, Carol. So on my card, I did the same thing here with the green. You can see I did the light um, uh, the light mossy meadow and went on top of it with the dark and then the the um, same thing with the orange can you see I did the dark and light to pumpkin pie and but the yellow I just used the solid dark because I wanted that to be nice and bright and vivid so that's kind of how I did the coloring on that card and I'm going to actually put that on there later because I want to finish coloring it before I put that on but I just went on there with some dimensionals and then I added some of those embellishments on here um, and voila, you have a beautiful card. Um, wishing you many blessings um, using that um, stamp set. So that is the first card that I created for you tonight. All right, let's see what's next on my pile. Oh, not my favorite one yet. I do have a favorite one for tonight. And I usually don't, but I do have a favorite one. All right, next up is this one right here. And I love the acorns. The acorns to me scream fall time. And I love the saying, grateful for you. We all have friends and family that I know would appreciate a card like this. Because you know what? Sometimes we all just need to know and we love to feel that we are appreciated. And so grateful for you to me is one of the best sayings Ever to be used anytime, not just in the fall time. Um, but I love, love, love that saying. So for this one, I used the um, pecan pie, or pecan pie, pretty peacock. So you can see here, I used this designer series paper. Um, peac that's the the um, the um, peacock. And then I did one of these um, behind it. And then I pulled in the green too because there's green inside this design right there. Thank you, ladies. So for this one, we're just going to fold this in half. Um, I popped it. Can you guys see how that very vanilla just pops this all together, that very vanilla layer? So for um, this, I used a five and a quarter by four, very vanilla. And then I have a um, five by three and three fourths of the um, mossy um, meadow. And again, using that same embossing folder. And again, if you join me late and you know 
notice that these are embossing where it's not perfect all the way through. That is the design of the embossing folder, not a fault of the embossing folder itself. It is how it's designed. I had to look at that twice before um, when I was making it too. I'm like, oh, why isn't it embossing all the way? And then I realized, oh, it's not going to. All right, I then have two pieces of the four by three designer series paper. Again, the back side you can see has all those um, all those different um, designs. But again, I went with the foil side and I'm just going to offset these two and glue them together like this, okay? So we're just gonna add some adhesive. Yep, I'm gonna cover up those awesome pumpkins. I know. So my class that I did for my Basement Bunch, um, the BB Monthly Club, I did use the other side of these papers. And I wanted these, again, to show the versatility, I wanted these cards to be used with the other side. So you could kind of get a little bit of an idea of how you can create with this paper and do more with it than just um, what you see um, with the, the actual All About Autumn um, set. So this is the ribbon. Again, these two ribbons come together. I know you guys are not able to get it yet, but with my class purchase, you would get enough of this that you need to be able to make the cards that I am showcasing tonight. Um, and this is just going to go right across the center here. So this ribbon is a wider ribbon, so it's a hard one to use as bows and things like that. This ribbon really has to be used to just lay flat and go around, um, go around layers. So that is what we are going to do with it. It is a gorgeous ribbon, really, really flexible, really nice. Um, it's a good ribbon. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad ribbon, but it is one that you have to use a little bit uniquely um, and be able to, um, to have it lay flat, okay? So I'm just gonna wrap this all the way around here like this and adhere it down. It is pretty rib ribbon, Janet, I agree. This ribbon is gorgeous, I love it. Hoping you guys can get it again soon. So, um, because really you could use this ribbon all year around. It isn't, doesn't just have to be used for, um, for the fall. But um, in, the, in this case, it definitely is. All right, using my circle punches that they brought back in, this is the one and three fourths and the two inch circle punch. Um, Thank you, Philomena. I just layered these together. So this is again stamped. I did not die cut this. So this is just stamped right here. And then I punched it out again using the Very Vanilla. I stamped it with the Memento Black ink. This I am going to take the time to color because I do want to finish this card. So for this one, I'm going to use the Light Pecan. This is the Light Pecan Pie. And like, I hope I'm going to use the other side. It'll go a little bit faster. Um, and for this one, like I said, I could not find what I know where it's at. And I didn't want to have to run upstairs to get it. So um, I decided to just grab, and again, did it on purpose to let you guys know that close is good. I know sometimes people are like, what colors did you use? And I'm like, use any yellow. It'll be fine. No one's going to know that you used a different color. Now, this might come up a little bit darker um, than what my sample is. But again, no one's going to know the difference. Still going to look beautiful. All right, so this is the dark one. So it just kind of breaks that up a little bit. You see that? And then I'm gonna use the light, um, oh, but I may have grabbed a bad, a bad light green, but that's okay, we'll use the other side. Meaning bad is an, um, I've almost used it all up because I use this green a ton. So I'm just gonna color the light um, mossy meadow on all of these leaves. And then I'm gonna go back on top of it with the dark. So here we go. And we're gonna color this one. So you can see the whole image does not fit in the circle, but it is a-okay. All right, so if I had a better marker, it'd go a little bit faster, but you guys get the gist of it here. All right, and then um, if I had my background or my thing on here, I would do this a little bit better on the edge. So I'm just gonna pick it up. Cause I want it all the way to the edge. Okay. So this is kind of how I did the leaves. I know I explained it in my first card, but I thought I'd actually show you on this one. So I used the small end and again, I just went right down the middle and went across these little veins right here of the leaves. It gives it just the perfect dimension. And voila, there you have it. If you wanted it to be a little bit softer, you could take your blending uh, or your color lifter. I didn't bring um, my color lifter um, to my table tonight because um, I kind of like it the way it is right here. And then you're just going to adhere these two together like this. 
And then those are gonna get layered down to the card right in the middle with dimensionals. So you're gonna wanna make sure you add a dimensional to the top and the bottom um, so that it glues down to this and not on just to the ribbon. Cause otherwise it's gonna be floppy and it'll be floppy on you. So I'm gonna put a dimensional here and one here. And, and I didn't get to a 3D project for you ladies tonight, so I apologize for that, but I think that you'll have plenty of ideas to work with uh, with this amazing bundle. So Grateful For You is stamped using the um, Mossy Meadow ink. Again, you don't have the Mossy Meadow, you could use any color that you have um, in green or in black. So Grateful For You is gonna get adhered down here on the bottom with some dimensionals. So let me add that on here. And then it's gonna get put on here on the bottom. And then the final thing that you're gonna do is add some of those rhinestones or those, in this case, again, I didn't use rhinestones. I used the um, neutral um, sequins, added one down here. If you were able to purchase any of those speckled dots that come with the thing, you could also um, use that. So anyway, isn't that pretty? Thank you, Shireen. All right, so that is our second card. All right, my third card, man, my last one, the my favorite's gonna be on, is on the last on my pile, so. All right, so the third card I wanted to showcase for you guys is what I used with that corn. So here's a card that I created using the corn, and uh, and when this just says, hello, friend. Again, it's a kind of like, I, I look at it like the, um, tried to make it look like it was the um, the fall harvest corn and um, used the designer series paper that is the very vanilla with the, um, with the copper in it, and then paired that together with Cajun craze and with crushed curry. So that is what I did on this card right here. And what I did, because again, when we are prepping for these classes, keep in mind, we are cutting out all this big shot stuff. These are the deckled circles. So what I used for the leaves on here on the background is I used our bow punch. So if you're ever where you're like, oh my gosh, it's a ton of big shot work, see where you can kind of improvise and use other things. Um, and so I decided to use that punch to save a little bit of work with all of that big shot work. Oh, thank you, Carol. Um, so that is the card we're gonna work on next. So, so for this one, I use the Cajun Craze, and I really wanted to have a color that would pop that vanilla strip of that designer series paper. And I used a layer of crushed curry, five and a quarter by four, um, then five by three and three fourths on the um, crushed or the Cajun Craze again, embossed it with that amazing embossing folder. And so I'm just going to adhere these two together. And then what I did is I put some ribbon, a little bit of that copper ribbon, right along the top of this. Now it is a little bit harder to put the ribbon around just designer series paper. I usually like to put it behind with cardstock. But I just liked this, how this um, ribbon looked, um, or how this looked right on that dark color. So I didn't end up putting... Um, anything behind it, but I, I do still do my ribbon the exact same way. So I don't like to tie it around. I'm a lefty and I don't do bows great that way. So I am still very old school with doing it like this and then tying my little knot on. So I'm gonna do that and then we're just gonna add some adhesive here and I'm gonna adhere this down and then I will add my little knot in there. So or my little, I call it my little tie-on. I guess it's not really a knot, right? So I'm just gonna cut a little piece of this ribbon and it's gonna go underneath here like this and then I just tie it around. So if you are good at tying it on and making it look nice, feel free to do that. I find this way to be so much easier for me anyway. Um, and I can get it to lay nice and flat and all that good stuff. Okay, and then we're just gonna trim this off a little bit at an angle. And then we can go ahead and adhere this down to the card base. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive to this and we're gonna adhere that down. From there, we can layer this awesome card. I know, isn't that cool? I'm gonna make sure I swipe the right way to see your guys' comments. Oh, this is your favorite one, Shereen? Okay, so here for this one, we have um, the corn cut out. The corn cut out in um, early espresso scraps. This is cut out with, um, uh, so yes, early espresso. And uh, this is the crushed curry. 
So I have two of them to be able to make two of the awesome little corns. Now this is you're going to want to adhere with some liquid glue. And I have started to use, I got to make sure it's going to come out of this. I have started to use this real little bottle. One of my team members, um, Pat, uh, found this cute little bottle and um, it works a lot easier for using the Tombow glue. And this, believe it or not, this little bottle will almost fit an entire, um, an entire uh, bottle of that liquid glue in it. And it just gives you a little bit more pre precision and the glue does not get stuck in the tip. Um, so I really, I just started using this in the last couple of weeks. I've had it for a while. She presented it at one of our team meetings, like probably a year ago. And I don't know what even possessed me to try to, if you wanna make sure you line these up, because you can see here, you have a little bit of a curvature at the top. Um, but I decided to give it a try and I fell in love with it in the last little bit. Um, I, and usually, you guys know me, I'm a no mess kind of person. Like let's just get the job done and move on. Um, but this little bottle has really saved me a lot of hassle with having a lot of overage of glue. Um, yes, these are on Amazon, and yes, I can share the link if you're interested in it. I think that uh, another dem other demonstrators may have um, shared it as well. So, um, but let me know. I'd be happy to to showcase where these are at. I think you got to buy so many at a time, which is why um, my team member brought them to our team meeting to see if anybody was interested in them. But it does really help to be able to not have as much glue on them and to get better coverage without it being quite so messy. Okay, so you can see here that, that I'm not sticky at all and normally I'd be a little bit sticky. Well, maybe I'm a little, but not much. All right, and then we have the um, little tops. I did those in Very Vanilla to kind of pull out that paper. And so I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to the top of this. So just like that. And you're just gonna build these up a little bit. And we're gonna add the one here like this. And then we're going to do it on the other one here. So let me get my other one. Doing the exact same thing, I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive to this. And then we're gonna add this one here as well. Ta-da! Okay. And then all I did was put these on kind of crisscross applesauce them. How's that? So we're gonna put some dimensionals on these. So I'm just gonna put one here. I know they look silly from the back, don't they? They almost look like cattails. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put a couple dimensionals here in the top and the bottom. And then we're just gonna kind of crisscross these onto um, the card. So I'm gonna do, I found it easier to add the little, um, well, maybe we'll add those now. So the greenery little the green little leaves, and I did just add a little bit of adhesive here to those. They're not completely glued down, you can see. Um, we're just gonna add these down here in the background. That glue is gonna get covered up um, by the corn. So um, I think I added two or three of them, I'm not sure. We're just gonna add, well I have three of them here. I guess we'll add all three. So I'm just gonna kind of add these down to the background here. Whoop, let me add a little bit more adhesive up here, just a little bit. And that will hold that one down. You can kind of position it right where you want it then. And then I'm not gonna worry about that because that's gonna get adhered down once I put down my, um, my uh, corn. So we're just gonna put one down like this. And then the other one's gonna go like this. Ta-da! that. And then I have my deckled circles. So I have the Hello Friend. Um, if you have not purchased these deckled circles yet, oh my goodness, you have to get these. Uh, they are perfect and wonderful. I've been using them a lot. I actually bought a second set because I use them so much for so many things and they're great to have. You're going to add your Hello Friend down here on the bottom again with some dimensionals. Um, so let me add a couple dimensionals to this. And I stamped that using the garden green and then added some of those little embellishments on there. Isn't that cute? Thank you, Kay. I know, they're cute cards, aren't they? I had fun with these. Okay, thank you, Lori. All right, so there is that beautiful little card and a great way to do something different with the corn. And um, yeah, love that one. Okay, the next one, again, it's not my favorite. My favorite is... Um, um, 
<laughs> the last one. Oh, Carol, can I so relate to that? That's where I'm at. Like, I'd spend too much time, I think, sometimes designing and playing than I should be with marketing and all of that. Because, you know, I live on a computer all day. So, who wants to be on a computer when I get home, right? Anyway, my next card that I'm going to share with you is this one right here. And this one uses um, a whole mat of that beautiful designer series paper. This is the one pattern that is in the, um, the Mossy Meadow color. And again, I pulled out the yellow. And again, these, these images are all from the stamp set. So you can see that I've show, so far showcased this one and this one. And then I did the, the corn one. doesn't have a stamped image. It's just dies. And now we're going to be using the, the double pairs that are right there um, on the bottom. And again, you can see how I paired it with that beautiful ribbon um, to make it look um, just a little bit more rich and elegant. So with that yes they are peggy i agree so with this one i use the mossy meadow for the card base and you're going to see me then pairing it with again the beautiful um uh, crushed curry to make that really pop and then the layer of and again you can see the, the variation here in the patterns this one looks like leaves this one looks like it's a chain can you see the different variation in the paper there so these two are just going to get adhered down together and then we're going to put that ribbon right through the middle here. So these two are going to go down like that. And then we're going to use this thick ribbon again and go right across the middle of my layer here. So, um, again, beautiful ribbon. It's, and it lays nice and flat. It's not too thick. It's really a really nice ribbon. Um, and I'm just going to wrap it around here like this. Ta-da! There we go. I'm just going to cut that off a little bit because I have a little too much. All right, making sure it's straight. We're going to add some adhesive to this, and this is going to get adhered down. Do you see the deckled circles again? Yep, I used those amazing deckled circles again. All right, so this is going to get adhered down. And then I have the deckled circles, and I did one with and this. I used um, Old Olive to make it just a little bit of a variated look. So it's still green, but it's old olive. Um, I felt my, I did when I designed this card. Um, I did try it with the mossy um, meadow cardstock, and it was just a little too dark for me. I liked it a lot better with the um, old olive, and just a little bit of a variation of a look. Um, and I think I even did color it with. No, I did color it with the mossy. I'm looking at that, it is the mossy. I thought maybe I may have colored it with the um, old olive as well. All right, so that is going to go on there like that. And then I have stamped the pairs using um, the Memento Black ink again. And um, and then I colored these with the blends. And so I'm not going to actually color them. I'm just going to put them on here. But the two blends that I used is Daffodil Delight and then the Mossy, um, the Mossy Meadow. So I'm going to put this down with some dimensionals because I'm looking at my time going, yeah, I still have another project to share you with you guys. Oh, and let me get that little bit out of there. There we go. And then I use the grateful for you again because I love that sentiment from this one. It's probably one of my favorites. So that is going to go on here like that. And then my grateful for you stamped with the um, mossy um, ink. And this one, I did the little angle on the opposite side. And so this, I only put a dimensional on the one side and I put adhesive on the one that went over here since there's already adhesive or, um, dimensionals on that. So it's one of those little tricks that I did where I only put a dimensional on the opposite side. A regular adhesive on this one okay so you can see I have a dimensional regular adhesive so that way I can line this up and it can go right on top of that and it still um, has the same depth to it okay added one of those um, little rhinestones and with that being colored you have this beautiful card right here Again, I'm harvest. I kind of call these my harvest blessings instead of my fruitful blessings, because um, I really like these cards. They're they're great for like um, outside of um, Halloween and things like that. They're good um, during the um, the fall season. So anyway, all right. So who's ready for my last card and my favorite one? So this is my favorite one. Thank you guys. I love it that you're loving these cards as much as I um, had fun making them. All right, I wasn't sure how this one was going to turn out, but this has become my favorite card. So this one I paired copper clay with pecan pie, and who would have thought that that color combination would look 
so rich as it does in my opinion. So this is the Copper Clay Designer Series paper. I paired it behind, um, so this is a four by three, it's behind a four and a quarter by three and a quarter, very vanilla, again, to make that just kind of pop a little bit. And I used that ribbon, you can see the ribbon back here. And then these are the stamp sentiments that I actually did color and, and punch out, um, or use my um, Stampin' Boss die cut machine and cut them out. Uh, but look at how beautiful that card turned out with those colors. So let's whip this one together quick. So this I used the copper clay for my card base, okay? And then I have a layer of the um, pecan pie. And this is what I put this ribbon behind. Again, it's going to lay nice and flat. So I'm just going to cut this and lay it across there. Thank you, Luann. You guys, I love it that you love this card too. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorites. I just love the the, the look of it. Um, and I love how pretty it it um, came out. So I am going to, I gotta make sure I run this the right way. There we go. Put the adhesive in the right spot. And I'm just going to put this around here like that. Make sure it sticks really good. And then this is gonna go ahead and get adhered down to my card base. All right, so this is just gonna go down here like this. And so far it doesn't really look that pretty, does it? I mean, you wouldn't think those two colors together would, would look nice, right? And so when I was first making this, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know, I'm not sure I'm digging this. But the more I kept going with this, the more I liked it. All right, again, you're gonna see a little bit of a different pattern, so you guys can kind of see the difference in paper, but it's again, same kind of paper. And we are going to glue this four by three onto this four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then this is going to get adhered down to my card using dimensionals. And doesn't that alone just make this card pop? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so I know none of you have answered me yet and I'm already agreeing with you all. So I'm gonna put um, the dimensionals on the four corners of this. Um, let me move that one up because it kind of went on there sloppily. I don't like that. There we go. And then we're going to adhere this down to the center of my card. And those dimensionals like to stick to my fingernails, my acrylic, just like the glue dots do. All right, so this we're gonna put down here right in the middle like that. And then I have two of these that I've already um, punched out, okay? And I colored them identical to how I colored the previous one, where I had the dark and the light, and then did the, um, did the leaves the exact same way, okay? So this is when one, one would go here, and this one would go up here like this, okay? And then, um, so pretend they're colored, because I don't want to take the time to color them all, but I did them the exact same way. And then this little wishing you many blessings is going to go in the middle of that um, on dimensionals. So for this one, um, it's going to go with dimensionals on here, right here in the middle. There and there. What do you guys think? Isn't that a beautiful card? All right, so let me bring in all of my cards for tonight that I've showcased using this amazing bundle. Um, like I said, this is a class for this month. It will be opening up. If anybody's interested in just receiving three of these cards in the mail, already completed, um, you just would need to put in a minimum $35 order, and then three of them would come to you in the mail. Or you can wait for that registration link to open um, or to have this sent to you where you'd be able to make all of these cards and color them any way that you would like to color them. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my Facebook Live tonight. Um, again, if you need anything um, this weekend, I'll be at my retreat. I'll be able to maybe answer you in between helping people and doing what I do best, which is talking and visiting. Uh, and I do still have two openings if anyone's interested in attending that event or getting that um, kit to go. And um, I also hope that some of you watching are thinking about that amazing um, join kit promotion going on because it's an amazing opportunity. And um, I love to offer all of you a great deal. So, all right. Thanks everyone for following me and watching me tonight. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll be back next week with some more great projects to share with you on our Thursday, um, Touch Base Thursday. All right. Bye everyone and have a great weekend.